Hi guys, Jan here. And in this short video, gusto ko lang pong i-share sa inyo yung bago ko pong nakuha na online job or home-based job uh, sa Upwork kahapon. But before that, if you want to learn kung paano kumita online, just make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll be uploading more videos, tips, and tutorials um, about home-based online jobs. So, nandito po tayo sa Upwork and nakikita po natin dito sa screen is yung contract for this um, new online job. So, this new job is $25 per hour and kung ikakonvert po natin yan to peso uh, at 51 pesos per 1 US dollars. So, that's around 1,200 pesos per hour. And this is really amazing because hindi po ako nag-apply for this job. I invite po ako ni client to apply for his job post. Sa Upwork po kasi meron tayong tinatawag na job invitation. So bali, instead na tayo po yung naghahanap ng trabaho or tayo po yung nagsasabit ng mga proposals to the client, bali yung nangyayari yung mga client na yung lumalapit sa atin. So magsisend po sila ng job interview invitation para mag-apply po tayo sa kanilang job post. From time to time, nakareceive po ako ng mga job interview invitations. Minsan isang beses or dalawang beses sa isang linggo. Minsan naman wala. Uh, last week, nakareceive po ako ng dalawang interview invitations. At so, ito po yung titingnan natin ngayon. So, ngayon punta po tayo sa computer ko at tingnan po natin yung details for this job invitations. So, noong June 20, I received a job invitation. Here, you can read the job details. And if you like it, you can accept. Uh, interview or decline. Nung tiningnan ko po yung job description niya, hindi ko nagustuhan yung job. So, nag-decline po ako for this uh, job interview. At the same day, nakatanggap po ako ulit ng job interview invitation. Yung isa kanina sa umaga. Ito naman sa gabi. As you can see here, medyo hindi detailed yung job description niya. Pero alam ko kung ano yung hinahanap ni client. And I have experience in creating videos using Prezi uh, presentation. So, tinanggap po natin yung job interview invitation na to. Prezi is similar to PowerPoint but it's more modern and it has many edgy looking templates. At para ipakita ko sa client that I know what he wants and I can do the job nilagay ko po dito sa message uh, yung mga relevant work samples ko. So, naghanap po ako ng mga sample na relevant for this job. So, ito po yung YouTube channel ng dati kong client. Actually, ito yung pinakaunang client ko sa Camtasha Video Editing. As you can see here, meron siyang 1 million subscribers. At ako po yung gumawa ng mga earlier videos of this channel. During that time when I was working for this client, meron lang siyang mga less than 50,000 subscribers. And it's just amazing to see na ngayon ganito na siya kalaki. So, this is my only client na gumamit kami ng Prezi. At kinanvert namin ito into videos. So, dito po ako kumuha ng mga samples. Hindi po ito yung pinakamagandang videos na nagawa ko. And this is not the best sample. But, uh, wala po akong ibang makita. At ang pinaka-importante dito is relevant po yung samples na bibigay natin doon sa ano, hinahanap ni client. Huwag po kayong magbigay ng random samples lang. Uh, kailangan relevant po yung work samples nyo to what the client is looking for. So, dito uh, parang nagsusulat na rin tayo ng proposal dito sa message nito. If you want to know more about how I write my proposal sa Upwork, meron po akong tutorial para dyan. Ilalagay ko po yung link sa description below of this video. Or you can click or tap this little circle na may I sa gitna. And makikita nyo po yung tutorial on how I write a proposal. So, yun po. in ko po yung job na to. 2,000 years later. At makalipas lang ang ilang araw, nakatanggap po tayo ng job offer at ito po yung inaccept natin na job interview invitation. Yung, yung Prezi na presentation video.
Usually, hindi po agad-agad na nagsasend ng job offer ang yung mga client. Uh, yung madalas na nangyayari, as with my experience, mag-uusap pa kayo sa, sa Skype or sa Upwork message. Yung normal na, ano, na process of interview. And pag nagustuhan po yung nagustuhan ka ng client during the interview, saka lang siya magsasend ng job offer. At madalas, as per my experience, yung interview is through chat na po. Uh, konti lang yung na-experience ko na video call talaga or uh, voice call yung interview. So, if you are like me na hindi po magaling mag-English, uh, sobrang okay po yung chat at hindi po tayo mag bleed If you look at here, ito po yung contract for this new job sa Upwork. Usually, sa umpisa ng project, uh, in the past two weeks, nilalagyan ng mga clients ng weekly limit yung project. In this case, it's only 5 hours per week. So, hanggang 5 hours lang po tayo pwedeng mag-work for this particular contract or for this particular project. At kapag nagustuhan nila yung trabaho mo within the maybe 2 weeks or 1 week, they will change this to uh, 40 hours per week. Pero meron din namang hindi na change change. Ganun lang talaga yung binibigay sa'yo na trabaho. So, may limit. At the moment, hindi pa po nagbigay ng additional instructions si client. So, I don't know if this job will really push through. Um, hindi pa po ito sure kung may work ba na ibibigay sa atin. So, tingnan na lang po natin sa mga susunod na araw. If you are new to my channel, uh, most probably you are asking right now kung paano po kayo makapagsimula or paano po kayo makakuha ng home-based online jobs. So what you can do right now is to check out these free trainings that I've prepared for you. Below of this video, meron pong dalawang links. If you click this first link, pupunta po kayo sa page na to. Mag-sign up lang po kayo dito and you will get a free course where you will learn how to freelance from home. Yung isa naman, if you click this second link, pupunta po kayo into my Upwork tutorial playlist. Dito sa mga tutorials ko po, you will learn the following. How to create an Upwork account. In this video, pinakita ko po dito kung paano gumawa ng bagong account sa Upwork from scratch hanggang sa na-approve po yung bagong account na ginawa natin. Second, how to create an upper title. Third, how to create an effective profile overview. At uh, yung fourth channel ko din po dito, how I write my Upwork proposal. As of the moment, ito lang po yung mga tutorials na nasa playlist na to. But I will add more tutorials, so make sure to check this out frequently. I hope you learned something from this video. Hit that like button if you like this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'll be uploading more tips and tutorials about home-based online jobs. Thank you for watching and have a great day, Bob.